detail from Nix in detail. Yes. Masako was disappointed, but agreed the evidence was irrefutable. After some debate, we decided to fully disclose the results in this meeting. So I wanted you to be prepared. Good. As long as the board isn't feeling difficult today, this meeting should go smoothly. Now. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Well, of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal neuroamp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority. The experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neural web is ready if you want to send out the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Are you sure you're okay? Those measurements. Yes, you need this. Not. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yes, I always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards, provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. All right, let's get this party started. Well, well, look 
who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, oh, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great! Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. DeMarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. Your fingers. Lots of dangerous machines around. <clears throat> oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it. <laughs> Just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing out my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. <sighs> so, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yes! Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako, it sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Uh, was I supposed to attach that clockwise or counterclockwise? Howdy. Oh, 
good. You're here. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LPD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. And wish he shall, every day, while he rots away in prison. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you have several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an Overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Neuroamp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. Now we don't want a mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final... Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Come with me. I have everything you... As much as I hate to admit it, Masako's plan is fairly straightforward and effective. Well, provided you don't screw up this assignment, she certainly won't. Lucky for you, my side of the plan doesn't involve any extra legwork on your end. The program that Masako had me write will be doing all the heavy lifting. While it's downloading the evidence needed, it will also be interspersing an array of files that will say Masako was heavily involved. Never. Some sympathizers, like Dalton, might linger on her side, but it's a major- Now here's everything you need. Simon's passcode, your operative- Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's- Don't screw this up.
land as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. Hello, did you have an appointment? Ah, yes, from Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take... Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. <clears throat> if you just have a seat, our waiting area is just in my right. I'll go notify Miss Hart that you're here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner.
ticket that might deserve that.
that life insurance package. You made a big mistake, Chuck. yourself with a hot lead. We will do our best to protect your anonymity. Can I help you? Well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got best. Of course. I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Is there at least a name? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. 
And if anyone was left alive, it should have been Lucas and Faye. Hmm. If only intent mattered. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes, thank you. Citizens of New Atlantis were shocked today when an unidentified assailant assaulted the employees within the Infinity LTD building, leaving many dead, including Lucas Drexler, CEO. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself have yet to be confirmed, but it's believed that Masako Imana, CEO of Ryujin Industries, may be involved. A series what? of communications between be. Drexler and Imana were discovered, where she encouraged Drexler to ignore approval guidelines for human trials. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Impossible. You set me up. You expect me to believe you're simply an unwilling pawn in this? We'll see about that. Assuming I know exactly how this situation came about, I have only a few things to say. Should Ularu run this company, the reputation of Ryujin Industries will change dramatically. Ryujin may gain financial success, but the percentage is not worth the real cost. But she's... <clears throat> it's true. Ularu's always put Ryujin first. And I can't argue that. Even with her aggressive tactics, she'll keep Ryujin at the top for decades to come. I encourage you to speak to the board members. We'll be having the meeting shortly to determine the fate of Infinity LTD. And now I imagine myself. We must receive at least 50% of the vote. I...